Hi, Fer. Hi, Aide. How are you? Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hi, how are you today? Very good, teacher. And you? Okay, I'm happy. It's Thursday. <laughs> okay. Today is the last class or tomorrow? Tomorrow, Fer, because we didn't have classes on Monday. Oh, okay. All right, so tomorrow we finish. All right, very good. Hi, Mireya. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, how are you? Good. Good, that's good. All right, is yeah. it raining by your house, guys, or not really? Is it yes, it's raining. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's cold too here. All right. It's not raining right now, but it was raining all day. During the, here in my house, it was raining during the afternoon from 2 p.m. to 4.30, maybe. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, not here in my house. It has, it rained since yesterday to like about three o'clock maybe today. So it's been raining all day, but not so strong. But yeah, it's like been constant. Constant. Uh -huh. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So hopefully your other classmates will join us soon. All right, just to remind you, um, tomorrow we have the last class. It's not today because we didn't have a class on Monday because it was a sweat -off. All right, we had a holiday on Monday, so that's why we're gonna finish tomorrow, all right? So just uh, remember that, okay? So tomorrow we have the very last class. ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? Are you guys like finishing? So-so? I finished so -so? yesterday at night. Okay, thank you, Fer, very good. What about Mireya? Are you finished, Mireya? Oh, yeah, and what happened? In the final exam. Ah, okay, okay, <laughs> but you're almost finishing. Excellent, very good. What about you, Aide? How are you doing and on the platform? Uh huh. And for me, teacher, I have problem with the platform and some exercise in the in the exam. The fi final? On the final, final exam. exam. Yes, and the letter C and number two and three. All right, and what is the difficulty that you have? Um, I write, I write the sentence and- And it doesn't take it right. It right. And the, the sentence is, you can- um, no eating or drinking in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And I great you cannot eat and drink and drinking and in the classroom. All right, maybe the um... I think I, I remember that I remember that sentence. Now I can't open the platform. I don't know because I have had problem with the internet, but I remember that sentence is without ing. Uh -huh. you, can use, you can you can't eat and drink. Right. In an ING. That's right. Uh -huh. Very good. Yeah, omit the ING idea. Okay. All right, try that one. Anyway, tomorrow, guys, because tomorrow is the very last day, like about maybe 15 minutes before we finish, we can uh, we're gonna check the platform for the final exam to see if you have any questions so I can help you there then too, all right? So it would be a very, like in case you haven't finished, I know Fernando has, but in case you haven't finished, don't worry because if you have any questions or any doubts, we can check tomorrow for the last 15 or 20 minutes of the class. So the final exam is finished with, okay? Okay, teacher. Very good, thank you. All right, hi, Anita, hi, Karin. Hi, Maria. Hi, teacher. Hi, Alex, how are you guys today? 
Okay. Everything My okay? Teacher. Excellent. I like to hear that. Right. Very good. Very good. I'm happy. All right. Very good, guys. So today, remember for the for Anita, for Karin, and Jose, and Alexander, remember tomorrow we have a class. Okay? Today is not the last okay. class. It's tomorrow because Monday we didn't have a class. Okay? So tomorrow, okay. yeah. So tomorrow is not um, a normal Friday. Tomorrow you have classes. And right, like the last 15 minutes of tomorrow's class, we're going to check uh, the final exam on the platform or any exercises that you still have problems with, okay? So if you have any questions, we can solve them tomorrow, okay? So try to finish today. So tomorrow when we have the class, in case you have questions, you can ask me then, okay? So today we're gonna go on guys with the very last topic of section five, which is past models, all right? So we're talking about past model verbs, okay? So that's what we're going to be seeing today. I'm gonna take you right now to the video so we can see it quickly and then I will share my PowerPoint presentation with you, okay? Is that like a good plan? Yeah, all right, very good. Hi Andrea, hi Hector. Happy to have you in class. Thank you for joining us. All right. So guys, thank you, Hector. I can see you now. Very good. Okay. So we're going to go right now. Hello. We're going to, what am I doing? We're going to go right now to see the video. All right. Which is the very last topic of the platform. Okay. So I want you to pay attention and then we are going to see the PowerPoint, more explanations, and of course, more exercises. Past modals. Use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. What should I have done? You should have told them about it. You shouldn't have hidden it. What would you have done? I would have called him. I wouldn't have sent him an email. All right, so this is what I want you guys to pay attention, all right? We are talking about past models, all right? So it says here, use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. That's why they are called past models, all right? Because they take us to actions in the past. They give us, they help us give experience uh, suggestions or opinions but in the past all right something that did not happen that maybe you wish it would have been different okay so question number one says what should I have done all right I'm asking for an opinion I'm asking for a suggestion for example if I tell you that I found money all right we continue talking about money okay if I say, oh, you know what? I found $1 million. And they say, oh, Jessica, what do you do? What did you do with it? And I said, well, I gave it to the police. And you're like, all right. And I can ask, uh, what should I have done then? I'm asking for your opinion. And then you can say, well, you should have uh, taken it. Or you should have given it away to some people. Or you should have, I don't know. Uh, built a school for poor people. I don't know, something, all right? So you're giving me your opinion, all right? Or your suggestion, all right? So the other one, what would you have done? It says, I would have... Hola. Hi. Hi, Me, me, me congelé. Me di cuenta que estaba frozen. <laughs> All right, okay. Ya no, ¿verdad? Ya me muevo, ya. I'm here, ya. Yeah? Yes. Thank you. All right, no sé hasta dónde me oyeron. <laughs> anyway, that's okay. You so are here... giving an opinion. Okay, thank you. All right, very good. So you're paying attention. All right, so here we say, uh, so I ask for your opinion about what I should have done with the money. All right, then... I can also, also ask for suggestions, all right? So suggestions or opinions, we can use either should have or would have, all right? What would I, what would have, what would you have done? I would have called him, 
all right? I wouldn't have sent him an email. That's not a very good idea. So again, remember that model verbs in general, they help us express something different, okay? Now, these past model verbs, they help us to express suggestions or opinions about actions in the past. That's why they are called past models, all right? How do you form them? What is the structure? Would have or should have plus past participle, all right? This is, that is the structure, okay? In these kind of um, sentences, when using past models, all right? We're gonna continue listening to the video and then we're gonna, I'm gonna take you to my PowerPoint presentation. When and how do we use past models? We use past models to give opinions and suggestions about actions that already happened. To give opinions, we use would have plus past participle. So this one right here, guys, would have, we're gonna use it more when you wanna give an opinion, all right? Not necessarily a suggestion. When we use would have when giving an opinion. And to give suggestions, we use should have plus past participle. Now, notice here, this one should have is, a, uh, it is for suggestions, but both would have or should have, we use it with past participles, okay? So you have to know your past participle verbs, okay? That's very, very important for you to know, okay? Now, would have for opinions, should have for suggestions, but the structure is the same. All right, past model plus past participle, okay? Any questions? No questions so far? No questions? No teacher at the okay. moment, no. Thank you. Hi, Claudita, no la había visto. Hi, Claudia. Okay, let's continue here. But in both cases, our opinion or suggestion is too late. All right, listen to that. Did you pay attention to that? In both cases, opinion or suggestion doesn't matter, but it's too late. All right, it's, that's, why it's in the, that, that's why they are used for actions that happen in the past. You cannot do anything about it. I already did. All right, if I, tell, if I told you, or if I tell you I gave the million dollars to the police, and you told me, Jessica, you should have, or you would have, all right? It's just too late. I don't have the money anymore. I did something with the money. I'm telling you, and you're giving me either an opinion or a suggestion, but it's too late. I cannot go to the police and say, hey, give me the money back, all right? Do you understand that, guys? Okay. All right, yeah. very good. Okay, so whenever whenever you you use this uh, structure, either would have or should have, it's too late. It's just an opinion, it's just a suggestion, but you cannot do anything about it anymore because the action is done with, okay? Okay. Remember for statements, we must use subject plus would have or should have plus past participle, plus the rest of the sentence. So I said, I would have, you should have, we would have, they would have, all right? He should have, Maria should have, Maria would have, doesn't matter, you need the subject, plus either would have or should have, and the past participle and the rest of your sentence. For questions, we add WH question word, plus would or should, plus subject, plus have, plus past participle. Okay, so here we say, what would you have done? That is the question, all right? So if I tell you my problem, I tell you my situation, and then I say, Anna, what would you have done? All right, I'm asking you a question because I want your opinion or your, or your suggestion. And then Anna said, ah, Jessica, I would have, or I should have, all right? But either way, I mean, it's late already because I did it, okay? So the action is already completed, it's already done with. Oh, and the question mark. All right, that's 
No, we're not gonna see that. All right. So, do you have any questions so far about past models? Do you understand that? Hi, Jenny. Do you have any questions, guys? Mm -hmm. No, teacher. Okay. The structure is easy to, to, to understand, I think. Right, I think so too, Fer. Yeah, with the structure, it's very easy to understand. And also, you, you need to understand the, the, the meaning or the usage of it, okay? You can give an opinion, you can give a suggestion, but it's pointless because the action already happened, okay? Am I frozen again? No, no. no okay, all right. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh no. Not, like flickering. Oh yeah, I think um, I think it's because of the rain. The internet's kind of like not stable, so I'm sorry for that. But we'll yeah. try to do our best. Okay, so here, guys. Now I'm gonna take you to the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so here we have, guys. Hold on. Past models for opinions, for opinion, for opinion and suggestions. Okay, so please help me read. Oh, oops. Hold on here. My computer's going crazy. Okay. Models of lost opportunity. Sometimes they are called like past models or some other times they're called models of lost opportunity, but they are the same. Why are they called models of lost opportunity? Because it's already happened. It already happened, it's over with. You cannot really do much about it, okay? Let's see, Hector, can you read what we have here on the chart, please? Okay, uh, from should have. Please. No, they, okay. Should have, could have, and would have. They describe situations when we are imagining that the past was different. Thank you, all right? So here, I know that in the platform we talk about should have and would have, but I'm giving you an extra information here with could have, okay? but it's the same. We're talking about models of lost opportunity, okay? What do they describe? They, they describe situations when we are imagining that the past was different, all right? But you cannot do anything about it, you cannot change it, okay? Here, should have. The general rule is, someone to read should for me? Someone to read should? Should for, recommend, should for recommendation, advice. If you want to lose weight, you should eat healthy food. Okay, someone else to read could, could for me. Could for possibilities. I have the day off tomorrow. Great, we could spend the day at the beach. Or we could go shopping. Thank you, and the last example? Good for imaginating results. If I were rich, I would buy a boat. A boat. Thank you. All right. Very good. So here, I want you to pay attention right now, guys. Here we're just using should, could, and would. All right? We're not using should have, could have, would have. We're just using the normal model verb. Should, could, and would. Why? Because I want you to remember the usage of should, the usage of could and the usage of would, all right? When do I use should? To give recommendation, advice, or suggestion. When do I use could? For possibilities. When do I use would? For imagining results, okay? That is the difference between those three. Por eso se lo estoy enseñando así, todavía no como past model, sino como la regla general de cuando uso should, could, and would, okay? Now, I can tell you this. Someone to read this for me? The same general rules applies when using should, have, could have, and would have for imaginating past situations. Thank you, Ana. All right, here is the same thing. It says the same general rule. Esta era la, esta era la general rule. Recommendations and ad, ad, recommendation, advice, and suggestion for should. Possibility for could. Imagining results for would. The same thing applies for should have, could have, and would have. Por eso era importante ver lo, an lo, lo anterior primero para recordarles cuáles son los usos de cada model verb. All right, now, 
if we have it, we should have, could have, and would have, we're talking about past situations, okay? But it should have for advice, suggestion, could for possibilities in the past, and would for imaginary situations, okay? Should have plus past participle. Someone to read this one for me. Can mean something that would have been a good idea, but that you didn't do it. It's like giving advice about the past when you say, say it to someone else or regretting what you did or didn't do when you are talking about yourself. Thank you, Anna. All right, so should have plus past participle means something that would have been a good idea, but that you didn't do it. All right, it's too late. It's like giving an advice about the past when you say it to someone else or regretting. You understand regretting? Cuando uno se arrepiente de, hubiera hecho tal cosa, hubiera dicho, no hubiera dicho, all right? No hubiera hecho, no hubiera ido, all right? You're regretting, ya no puede hacer nada, you already went. I'm sorry, you already did, right? Okay, let's, let's give some examples here. Should I have a negative plus past participle? A ver, uh, Alexander, can you read this one, please? means that something wasn't a good idea, but you did it anyway. I should have studied harder. I didn't study very hard, and so I failed the exam. I'm sorry about this now. I should have gone to bed early. I didn't go to bed early, and now I'm tired. I shouldn't have eaten so much cake. I didn't eat a lot of cake, and now I don't feel good. You should have called me when you arrived. You didn't call me, and I was worried. I wish that you had called me. John should have left early. Then he wouldn't have missed the plane. But he didn't. Leave early and so he did miss the plane. Thank you very much, okay? So you see the examples, guys, here? Shouldn't have? That means something wasn't a good idea, but you did anyway, all right? So now it's too late and you have the consequences, all right? So for example, uh, I should have studied harder. And I didn't. It's too late now. All right. I can't do anything about it. Okay. Or I shouldn't have eaten so much cake. Now I have a stomach ache. Pero me lo comí todo el pastel yo solo. All right. Yo sola. Y ahora que hago nada. I can't do anything about it. Hoy solo me duele la pancita. All right. So now I have the consequence. Yes. All right. Very good. Let's continue. Questions. Do you have questions? No. Excellent, oh, yeah. very good, excellent. Should have again, you should have to say that a different action was recommended in the past. If you arrive late to English class, you can say, I should have left my house earlier. Hoy no aplica esto porque we're online, ¿verdad? Pero I should have connected earlier, all right? All right, very good, here. You can also use should have or shouldn't have to tell other people that a different action in the past would have been better. If your son fails a test, you can say, you should have studied. You shouldn't have played video games all weekend, okay? So here you're giving those uh, recommendations, if you want to call it so. Would have plus past participle. Sahira, can you read this for me, please, Sahira? Okay. Would have plus past participle. Uh, past conditional, if I had had enough money. I could have bought a car, but I didn't have enough money. So I didn't buy a car. Two, so, because good and will can also be used to show if you want to do something or not. Volition. We can also use use good have plus past participle to have about the something you wanted to do but didn't. This is very similar to the third conditional, but we don't need it a uh, clause. Very good. We don't need a if clause, all right? So right now we're not using the would have plus past participle as part of the third conditional. We're using the would have plus past participle as part of this um, 
or like regretting thing that we're talking about here, all right? To talk about something you wanted to do, but you didn't, okay? So here is like, like this says here is very familiar to the third conditional, but in this case, you don't need the if clause, all right? Let's continue here. Would have, use would have to imagine a result if something had been different in the past, if something had been different, but it wasn't, all right? If you arrive late at the airport, and miss your flight, you can say, if we had arrived earlier, we would have caught our flight. If you forget your umbrella and it starts to rain and you get wet, you can say, if I had brought my umbrella, I wouldn't have gotten wet in the rain, all right? Would have expresses more certainty about the result than could have. If I had worked harder, I could have got that promotion. Maybe I get a promotion, but maybe not. On a test where you need 70% to pass, I got a 68 on the test. If I had gotten two more points, I would have passed. With the two points, passing the test is certain. So between would have and could have, the certainty is more probable on would have than could have, okay? Here, where um, this is, good. well, could have, it says you, you uh, use could have to talk about possibility, possibilities if something had been different in the past. For example, someone who didn't go to college can say, if I had gone to college, I could have gotten a better job. When talking about gymnasts who didn't win a competition, you can say she could have won the gold medal if she hadn't fallen three times. Could have is often used with if plus had plus past participle. Uh, these if phrases express the imaginary past situation. However, in some cases, you can use could have without the if phrase. Imagine you're driving with a person who makes a dangerous maneuver on the road. You can say, oh, are you crazy? Would it, we could have gotten into an accident, okay? Could have, as I said, is not on the platform right now, but this is good for you to know it. Do you have any questions so far? No questions? Okay, if I give you an exam, everybody gets a 10. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Okay, now listen to this. It's spoken English. In a spoken English, many people say should off, could off, would off. All right, when you're speaking fast, I say what should have, what should have I done? All right, should off, could off, or would off. I would have done it. I would have gone. I should have told you. All right, you don't say I should have. All right, you say you should have. I should have told you. I should have, I don't know. Uh, sold my house, all right, or something, all right? So that is the, this is how we pronounce this, all right, when we're talking because we talk a little bit faster, okay? All right, this is what I want you to do. Sé que está como chiquita la letra, but try to do your best. Can you take a picture of this, please? Did you get your picture? Yeah. Excellent. All right. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to read each sentence, okay? And in brackets, it, it says, for example, past possibility, or it says past negative advice or regret. Como usted tiene la, toda la información previa, all right, you're going to know and you're going to understand de cuál están pidiendo aquí. Si es could have, should have, or would have, okay? Okay. okay. All right, very good. So let's try it. Vamos a irnos a los grupos ahorita, pero antes de irnos, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta al respecto. Sí, sure. Yes, Alex. Could you repeat the pronunciation for the spoken English? Ah, uh, all right, yeah, okay, for sure. Uh, here we go, hold on. Here we have, oops. We have should off, like off. Should off, could off, would off. It's like off. 
Uh huh. Sounds like off. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thanks, teacher. That's, yeah, you're very welcome. All right. Very good. Any other questions? No more questions. Yo ya andan calladitos porque es jueves o porque ha llovido o qué pasa. All right. Okay. Very good. If you don't have any questions, vámonos entonces a los grupos. Trabajan en el en el worksheet. Regresamos y vemos las respuestas. Okay. 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 Thank you. Hi, Gabby. Hi, teacher. Hi, hello. Sorry. No, that's okay, Gabby. I'm gonna send you right now to a group. To um, a group. They are working. Oh, but you know what? I'm gonna show you this. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the exercise, Gabby, that they are working on right now. This one. Can you take a picture? And we are talking about mm -hmm. past models, Gabby. Could have, should have, and would have. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay, very good. All right. So, um, quickly, Gabby, these ones we have. Oops, we have three mo like past model verbs. All right, that they help us to give um advice or suggestion or opinion. Okay. 
but mm -hmm. even that you give an opinion or a suggestion gabby it's useless because the action already happened all right so if i say oh i should have told you yeah but i didn't tell you all right so it's over with okay i can't do anything about it so those three are like that just to remind you that when we talk about should we use it for recommendation advice or suggestion could we use it for possibilities and would we use it for imagining results the same mm -hmm. thing would be for should have could have and would have okay la misma la, la regla aplica igual solo que lo les recordaba para que usábamos el should para aquel could y aquel would y ahora agreguele should have y es lo mismo should have lo usamos para recommendation and advice could have for possibilities and would have for imagining results okay Okay, yes, okay, thank you. Very good. So I'm gonna send you, you're welcome. I'm gonna send you right now, Gabby, to one of your groups, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Gabby. <clears throat>
learning how to, to listen English, you know. Teacher, we have a question. Yes, uh, tell me. Okay, when we talk in third person, mm -hmm. um, we to, have, we yeah, have, has. has or have? He should have. Have, always have. Always. Okay. Because you have a model verb before that. So the model yeah. verb protects or doesn't like any changes. All right. So okay. for everybody, it's going to be should have, would have, or could have. So okay. he, Alexander could have, Jennifer should have, all right, we should have. So for everybody, it's going to be should have. Yeah, there is an exist has. No, no, because you have a model verb. So when yeah. you have model verbs, there are no changes or inflections for the third person singular. Okay, thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Did you finish? Yes. Oh yeah. my goodness, that was fast. Very good. Let me check in a couple of more groups and then we're coming back, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. See you. Uh, something for the final exam? You tell Hi. me. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Hi. Claudina. Finished? Hi. Yes. Excellent. Very good. All right. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay. Uh, let me check two more groups and then we're coming back, okay? Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You send the, the... Okay. Hi, ladies. Hi, Zahira. Hi, Karen. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, Did teacher. You... Hi, hello. Did you finish? We finish. Excellent. Yes. Okay. So of let's, course, let's yeah. go Thank back you. to the group so we can check it. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you, okay. girls. Okay, guys, so here we have, all right, we have the exercise, oops, we have the exercise here, all right, number one, I did, can you tell me what you have for that one, please? I did, I cannot hear you, your mic is off. Sorry, I could have bought bread. I didn't know we needed it. Excellent. I could have bought bread, but I didn't know we needed it. All right, very good. Number two, Karen, can you do number two, Karen, please? Okay, we shouldn't. We shouldn't have invited so many people to our party. I'm worried that we won't have enough room for everyone. Everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Very nice, Claudita. Thanks. Number three, Claudia. Number three. I should have started saving money years ago. Mm, all right. Yes. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Let me see here. Hector, what do you have for number four? Hector, your microphone is off, Hector. Oh, sorry. I, <laughs> uh, we would have joined you the restaurant, but we couldn't okay. get a babysitter. All right, very good. All right, five, Sahira. The weather could be uh, any worse. It's negative. The weather could, it's okay, but it's negative. Oh, okay. It's uh, good? No, could is okay, Sahira, but it's negative. Oh, okay. So we say the weather what? Uh, I could have 
Couldn't have. Be. Couldn't have okay. been any okay. worse. All right, very good. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Mari, um, Mireya, I'm sorry. Mireya, can you tell us number um, six, please? I couldn't have arrived on time, even if I left earlier. They were just full traffic jams all the way. All right, very good, thank you. All right, Andrea, can you do the following one, number seven? They could won the football match, but John hurt his uncle. Ankle. Ankle. Ankle, very good, yeah, si no el tío. All right, very good, nice. <laughs> All right, let's see, Um, we have Anna. Number eight. Okay. Amanda would have finished the war, but she felt ill and had to go home. I had to go home. Very good. Nice. Mariano, number nine. Number nine. Lucy should have left earlier. She missed her flight. Oh, my goodness. Very good. Gabby, can you do number 10? Gabby, no? All right, Alex, can you do number 10? It is, sir. Please? Of course, we couldn't have finished the game, even if we want to, even if we want to. It was raining very hard, and we have to stop. Very good, nice. All right, Fernando, can you do number 11? Fer? I shouldn't have eaten so much chocolate. I feel sick. <laughs> All right, very good. Now I feel sick. All right, very good. Okay, excellent, guys. You're doing a very good job. Okay, this is what I want us to do for the last 10 minutes. I want you to go back to your groups, okay? And now I want you guys to think about a situation. All right. So, for example, I can say, uh, I don't know, Fer, what would you have done if, I don't know. Um, if something just think about a situation so your classmate can answer i would have i should have i could have either one depending on the if it's if it if you're asking for an advice if you are asking for an opinion if you're asking for a possibility all right well would you have done if the hurricane go away or how Right. Okay. Like yes. That. Uh -huh. Something like that. Right. And I said, oh my goodness, I would have, you know, like, I don't know, moved to another with my sister to my sister's house, for example. All right. So the idea is like to put your classmate on a situation that he or she needs to use would have, could have, or should have. And then I will ask Fernando and Fernando gives me his answer. And then Fernando thinks about another situation so he can ask me and I can give my answer, all right? So question, answer, question, answer. Do you understand what we're supposed to do now? Okay, very good. Let's go back to the same groups we were working with, okay? Okay. Hey, Gabby.
Teacher, I don't have a partner. <laughs> what happened, Sahira? I don't know. Oh. My partner. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to send you with Jose Mariano because he's alone too. Okay. Go right now, Sahira. Thank you. Okay. Le salió la invitación. Hi, Claudita. Hi, teacher. Did you ask your partner, Claudita? Were you able to ask your partner? I'm Did you ask the question to your partner? Yes. Okay, yes, very yes. good. Okay, very good. Thank you. No, thank you. All right, guys, let's see. Uh, we're, everybody's coming in right now. Andrea's here, Jose Mariano, Jennifer. All right. Um, Jennifer, who did you ask? Who were you working with, Jenny? I was working with Jose Mariano. All right, and what did you ask no. him? No, sorry. <laughs> I was working with Alexander. Oh, okay. So, Jenny, <laughs> what did you ask him? Uh, I asked him if, uh, what, what would he do? I mm -hmm. think, what would he do if he were the leader of our country? Oh, and what was your answer, Alex? I will have down the taxes. Oh, <laughs> cool. I'm going to yeah. vote for you, OK? <laughs> okay. Very <I> good. <laughs> <laughs> right. OK, guys, very good. You know what? Tomorrow, we're going to continue. Don't forget the question that you ask your partner, because tomorrow when we come in, we have a class tomorrow. Don't forget. All right. Tomorrow is the last class. So tomorrow when we start the class, we're going to ask each other the question here in the in the main group. Then we're going to do some review and then we're going to check the platform in case you have any questions or anything that you need to work on. Okay, 
So I need to go because there's another class coming in. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, okay? Bye, Thank teacher. You. Bye, guys. Tomorrow, Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.